Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? Hope everybody is doing amazingly well. Welcome back to another lesson of English with Ashish. And guys, today in this lesson, we are going to master everything about the subject of a sentence. Yes, the subject. Do you know what a subject is? What it does? How to identify? Do you know we have different types of subjects? Do you know that? See, we'll learn everything about the subject of a sentence in this lesson. And I mean everything. So let's start with understanding what exactly it is. What exactly is a subject? See guys, a subject of a sentence is a part that the sentence revolves around. Yes, it is the prime minister of a sentence, right? It is something or somebody the sentence focuses on. So it's either a person that performs the action, the main verb of a sentence, can be a thing as well, but generally a person, or a person or a thing that the sentence gives information about. Right? Simply gives information about there is no action. So there are two things you can take out of this definition. Number one, the subject performs an action, the main verb, right? It performs the action in a sentence. And when it performs the action, it's generally a person. Number two, there is no action. It does not perform an action. The sentence simply gives information about it. It either renames it, renames the subject, or describes it or modifies it all right now let me show you some examples and make you understand example number one Rohan meditates in the morning Rohan does something in the morning so the subject of the sentence is Rohan Rohan is the person that performs this action Rohan meditates in the morning so the subject here performs an action it is the doer of an action which is meditates the main verb second example Rohan is a doctor see guys here we don't have any action. Rohan is a doctor. There is no action. So here Rohan is being renamed. We are giving another name to Rohan which is a doctor. So Rohan equals to a doctor. So Rohan is being renamed here. Rohan is not performing an action. Rohan is just simply being described with a name. Rohan is who? A doctor. All right. Third example. Rohan was very fat a few months back. Rohan was very fat a few months back. So the subject is Rohan. This is the subject of the sentence. And here, Rohan is being described. We are describing Rohan, right? This is how Rohan was in the past. He was very fat. Again, the subject is not doing anything. The subject doesn't always perform an action. It can be renamed or described. It can be renamed with a noun. Or a noun phrase or a noun clause or it can be described using an adjective or an adjective phrase or a prepositional phrase. I can also say Rohan is in Mumbai. Rohan is in Mumbai. So here again I am giving information about Rohan talking about where he is right again. So in Mumbai is a prepositional phrase that is working as an adjective giving information about the subject which is Rohan. So the subject of a sentence either performs an action or simply uh, gets described with, with a noun or an adjective. This is what the subject is. Now, we have different types of subjects in a sentence. We have three different types of subjects in a sentence. Number one, simple subject. Number two, compound subject. And number three, complete subject. Now, let's master all these three types of subjects one by one. We'll start with the very first one, simple subject. A simple subject, guys, is a one-word subject. It is a one-word subject. It does not have any modifiers. It does not include any modifiers. It is generally a single word noun or a pronoun. It can be more than a word, but it would not have any modifier in it. All right, let me show you some examples. Example number one, Jacob loves pancakes. Jacob loves pancakes. Here, Jacob is the subject because we're talking about Jacob. This is what Jacob does, right? We're talking about a state of Jacob. Jacob loves pancakes, right? The sentence is about Jacob. Second example, Donald Trump is hated by a lot of people. Who are we talking about here? We are talking about Donald Trump. So Donald Trump is the subject of this sentence. This is the simple subject. But I just said a few minutes ago or a couple of seconds ago that a simple subject is a one word subject. But Donald Trump is a combination of two words. But it's a man. 
it's one word it's just a name it does not have any modifiers it's a proper name right so it can be more than one word but it would not include any modifier it would not have any modifier right donald trump is hated by a lot of people john is hated by a lot of people rahul is hated by a lot of people justin bieber is hated by a lot of people but it's just a name it does not have any modifiers in it third example the best student of our group is jacob the best student of a group is jacob right so the subject of the sentence is the best student of a group and the simple subject is student student is a simple subject and the complete subject is the best student of our group this is our complete subject and the simple subject is student da and best are pre modifiers of a group is a post modifying phrase so the best student of a group is the complete subject but the simple subject is just student all right so a simple subject is a one word subject it does not include modifiers it can be a noun for example jacob donald trump john rahul money right or it can be a pronoun as well for example everyone loves ashish everyone loves ashish i am happy so here everyone and i are simple subjects so this is what a simple subject is all right it does not include any modifiers next a complete subject what is a complete subject a complete subject is a combination of a simple subject and the word or words that modify it that give information about it let me give you some examples and make you understand example number 1 the movie was amazing the movie was amazing here the complete subject is the movie the movie and movie is our simple subject this is our simple subject movie right and uh, if we include the modifier which is da it becomes a complete subject da is a determiner right the definite article so da movie is a complete subject and movie is a simple subject we are talking about the movie second example the man sitting in my car runs a casino the man sitting in my car runs a casino so here man is the simple subject this is our simple subject and the man sitting in my car is our complete subject because we're talking about the man particular man which man who is sitting in my car so the man sitting in my car is our complete subject man is the simple subject and we have two modifiers the a pre modifier a pre modifier is something that comes before a noun that it modifies right which is da here a definite article determiner and sitting in my car is a present participle phrase working as an adjective giving information about the simple subject the noun man the man which man sitting in my car so the complete subject is a combination of a simple subject man movie and the word or words that modify it da da sitting in my car this is what a complete subject is now there are three ways to form a complete subject number 1 pre modifier plus the simple subject number 2 the simple subject plus a post modifier and number 3 a pre modifier plus the simple subject plus a post modifier all right let's start with the very first one pre modifier plus a simple subject now let's understand what is a pre modifier a pre modifier guys is something that comes before a noun and gives information about it so it's a word or a group of words that sits before a noun and modifies it gives information about it and uh, pre modifiers basically include articles both definite and indefinite articles possessive adjectives demonstrative adjectives quantifiers can or can also include numbers as well so all these things can function as pre modifiers right and also note adjectives can also come before a noun and modify the noun right so it can also function as a pre modifier so let's take some examples of a complete subject where we have a pre modifier plus the simple subject example number 1 my friends love me my friends love me so here my friends is the complete subject where friends is the simple subject and my is a pre modifier a possessive adjective that is modifying the simple subject the noun friends friends my friends all right second example 
a school is being built here a school is being built here so here a school is the complete subject it's a combination of a pre modifier which is a and the simple subject school so a is an indefinite article here and school is the simple subject you can use any other type of a determiner you can use a possessive one you can say uh my school is being built here your school is being built here you can use a demonstrative adjective if you want you can say that school is being built here all right third example some smart people have offered me a business deal see here we have two pre modifiers which are some and smart the complete subject is some smart people and people is the simple subject some smart people have offered me a business deal people some people so some is a quantifier some smart people so smart is modifying the subject the simple subject people how are they smart so some smart people have offered me a business deal here we have two pre modifiers a determiner and a regular adjective which is smart now note you can use an adverb before an adjective in the complete subject and modify the adjective you can intensify the adjective or mitigate it for example some extremely smart people have offered me a business deal some very smart people have offered me a business deal so here extremely and very are words that are working as adverbs modifying the adjective smart some extremely smart people some very smart people so this is one way to form a complete subject using a pre modifier and a simple subject uh visit my website www.englishwithashish.com and there's a post on what is a subject in different types of subjects and this is a very detailed post guys right uh just go through this post you will get to know everything about the subject what it is different types with a lot of examples right with an infographic as well uh we have a lot of examples on the website so just go through this post right the link is in the description okay now the second type using a simple subject plus a post modifier now what is a post modifier post modifier post so it is something that comes after a noun or a pronoun generally a noun and modifies it so it's a uh, a word or a or a group of words that comes after a noun or a pronoun generally a noun and gives information about it all right and a post modifier can include a prepositional phrase an infinitive phrase can include a participle phrase or an adjective clause let me give you some examples example number 1 people in my village support each other people in my village support each other so here people in my village is the complete subject where people is the simple subject and in my village is a prepositional phrase starting with the preposition in giving information about the simple subject people people which people in my village so we have the simple subject people followed by a post modifier a prepositional phrase in my village people in my village support each other simple subject plus a post modifier second example girls protesting outside the college are from different parts of the country girls protesting outside the college who are from different parts of the country girls which girls protesting outside the college so girls protesting outside the college is the complete subject where Girls is the simple subject and protesting outside the college is a present participle phrase starting with the present participle protesting is identifying the simple subject girls and giving information about it letting us know which girls we are talking about girls protesting outside the college are from different parts of the country so this is how we form a complete subject using a simple subject plus a post modifier this is another way to do that The third way to do it the third way to form a complete subject is using a pre modifier plus a simple subject plus a post modifier So we will have a pre modifier that could be a determiner or an adjective or both and then we'll have a simple subject that will be a noun right that will be a noun and we will have a post modifier let me show you some examples Example number 1 the men looking at us look strange the men looking at us look strange who looks strange the men looking at us 
So the man looking at us is the complete subject, right? Where man is the simple subject. Man looks strange. Which man? The man. Talking about a particular man. Which man? Looking at us. So we have a pre-modifier in the form of a definite article, determiner, the. The is a pre-modifier. And looking at us is a post-modifier, a present participle phrase, right? The man looking at us is the complete subject. Second example, the goal of this gathering is to raise money for some poor kids. The goal of this gathering is to raise money for some poor kids. So goal is the simple subject. Goal is to raise money. And that is a pre-modifier. And of this gathering is a post-modifier, a prepositional phrase. The goal, which goal of this gathering? The goal of this gathering is what? Is to raise money for some poor kids. So the goal of this gathering is a complete subject and goal is a simple subject. Third example, a person who knows how the mind works can achieve anything in life. Who can achieve anything in life? Any person? No. A person who knows how the mind works. So we're talking about people who know how the mind work, right? So these people can achieve anything in life. So person is a simple subject and a person who knows how the mind works is the complete subject where I is a pre-modifier, person is a simple subject, who knows how the mind works is an adjective clause, modifying the simple subject, the noun person, a person, which person, who knows how the mind works, all right, so this is the last way, the third way to form a complete subject, again, visit the website, there are more examples, you will have more clarity if you need, right, so after the video, do visit the website, now, Let's talk about the last type of a subject, which is a compound subject. Compound. What do you understand by the word? A compound subject is a combination of two or more simple subjects or complete subjects. Generally, simple subjects can also be complete subjects. Generally, two. Can be two or more, but it's generally two. All right. So, a compound subject is a combination of two simple subjects or complete subjects. But it can be more than two as well. All right. And it's often joined by a coordinating conjunction and or or, right? Let me show you some examples and make you understand. Example number one. John and Max came to see me the other day. So here, John and Max is my compound subject. John is a simple subject. Max is a simple subject and is a coordinating conjunction. We put them together, we have a compound subject. John and Max, we have two simple subjects. John and Max, joined by a coordinating conjunction and. John and Max came to see me the other day. Sam or I can go there and talk to the management about it. Sam or I, Sam or I can go there and talk to the management about this. So here, Sam or I is the compound subject. All right, now. A compound subject, note this, a compound subject can also be joined with some correlative conjunctions such as not only but also, both and, both something and something, and neither something nor something. All right, let me give you some examples and make you understand with more clarity. Example number one, neither the doctors nor the patients were happy with the ongoing protests. Neither the doctor nor the patient. So this is our compound subject. Uh, neither nor, right? So this correlative conjunction is adding two subjects. The doctors, the patients, all right? Neither the doctors nor the patients were happy with the ongoing protest. Both the police and the protesters are working together. Both the police, both A, which is the police, both the police and B, which is the protesters. Both A and B, both the police and the protesters are working together. Not only my parents, not only A, which is my parents, not only my parents, but B, which is I. Not only my parents, but I am also in support of this rule. Now note this. If you form a subject using a neither nor or either or, right, the verb follows the part that comes after nor. Neither the doctor nor I was happy nor I am happy. So the verb is going to follow what comes after nor, right? So this is what a compound subject is. We have more examples on the website. So do visit it after the video. All right. 
Now, what can be a subject of a sentence? This is very important to note. What can be a subject? What qualifies to be a subject? Five things. Number one, a noun or a noun phrase. Number two, a noun clause. Number three, a pronoun. Number four, a gerund. Can be a gerund phrase as well. And number five, an infinitive can also be an infinitive phrase. All right. Now, let's look at them one by one. Number one, noun. A simple noun can be the subject of a sentence. One word noun. Money can buy happiness, some say. Money can buy happiness. So here money is the subject, a simple subject, and it's a noun, right? Abstract noun. Courage is what you need to show. Courage is what you need to show. So courage is the subject here, the simple subject, right? And again, it's a noun. People love me. People, again, is a noun. People love me. So that's a noun working as the subject of a sentence, right? Number two, a noun phrase. It can be a noun phrase. If you add a modifier to a noun, it will become a noun phrase. For example, this dog is so cute. This dog is so cute. It's a noun phrase. This dog, this modifier, pre-modifier, dog, simple subject. My money is not your money. My money is definitely not your money. So my money is a noun phrase, money, simple subject, my pre-modifier. My plus a noun. My money is not your money. All right, noun phrase. By the way, I have lessons on all these elements. What is a noun? What is a noun phrase? What is a noun clause? Infinitive, infinitive phrases on my website and my channel as well. All right, so do visit them if you want to. Noun clause, noun clause. A noun clause can also function as the subject of a sentence. For example, what I want is love. What I want. This is working as the subject of the sentence. What I want is love. I don't know the name right what I want I must want something I just don't know the name of that particular thing or I don't want to share it so what I want is love who called you yesterday was a friend of mine who called you yesterday the referring to a person who called you yesterday was a friend of mine so who called you yesterday is a noun clause right uh, functioning as the subject of the sentence so it can be a noun clause next a pronoun yes it can be a subjective pronoun like I, you, he, she, it, they. For example, I love teaching English. You are amazing. She is my sister, right? It can be a subjective pronoun. Or some other type of pronouns like everyone, someone, right? Indefinite. Everyone loves Ashish. That's true. Ah, not true. Not everyone loves me. Everyone loves Ashish. Let's just say that. So here, everyone is the subject of a sentence, an indefinite pronoun it can also be a gerund an ing form of a verb working as a noun for example teaching is my passion teaching is my passion smoking can kill you smoking can kill you it can be a gerund phrase right you can use an object of the gerund like teaching english is my passion that will be the gerund phrase teaching english is my passion smoking regularly can kill you smoking regularly now it's a gerund phrase right so it can be a gerund or a gerund phrase. It can also be an infinitive, two plus base form of a verb, right? To smoke can kill you. To smoke can kill you. To smoke working as the subject, as a noun. To smoke can kill you, right? We generally use a gerund instead of an infinitive as the subject. Smoking can kill you, all right? To open an NGO, an NGO is my dream. What is my dream? To open an NGO. Opening an NGO is my dream. So instead of using an infinitive as the subject, use a gen or a gen free. So yeah, an infinitive can also function as the subject of a sentence, can be the subject of a sentence. So now you know what a subject is, how it looks like, what can be a subject of a sentence, how to identify that, right? Different types of subjects. Now you know everything about it. You've mastered it. Now before you put yourself on cloud 11, let me give you a task. On your screen are some examples. What you guys have to do is you guys have to identify all these th three types of subjects in these sentences. Simple subject, complete subject, compound subject and write in the comment section below. And you can match your answers with mine on my website, right? Check out the post on uh, subjects and their types, right? And at the end, you will find this uh, quiz with the answers so you can check your answers with mine there all right and that's it 
that's all about today's lesson hope you enjoyed it hope you loved it hope you learned something new and uh, if you did make sure you like the video uh, if you guys are new to the channel subscribe subscribe to the channel and press the notification button so that every single time i come up with a lesson i publish a lesson you get notified and you get to watch it right away share a video with others as well so you can help others as well and help me as well doing that and i'll see you guys very soon to the keep learning have fun i'm out now sir